God's wrath. When does God's wrath fall on the unbelieving and disobedient world? Today, many people are being told that God's wrath is somehow connected to the Great Tribulation, the last three and a half years of this age, or the Daniel 70th 7, the last seven years of this age. But when does God's wrath really fall? What does the Word of God have to say about His wrath? Today, this question about when is God's wrath and where does God's wrath fall is very important because a lot of people have been deceived by people telling them that God's wrath occurs during the time of the Great Tribulation. Now, of course, God's people are not appointed under wrath, so they have to be somehow protected from God's wrath. So if there's a pre-trib rapture, they would think that the wrath is in the tribulation. But what does God have to say? When does he say his wrath falls? Many Christian scholars today are saying that the wrath of God takes place during the great tribulation. But we're gonna take a look and see what God says about when his wrath takes place. It's very important we understand this because much deception has been perpetrated on the church by thinking that they might be out of here before the great tribulation. In the Bible, we find that God's wrath is on the day of the Lord. Listen to Zephaniah. The great day of the Lord is near and coming quickly. Listen, the cry of the day of the Lord will be bitter. That day will be a day of wrath. Clearly, Zephaniah, the Old Testament prophet, is saying that the, the wrath of God comes on the day of the Lord. So we can see that God's wrath happens on the day of the Lord. So when does the day of the Lord occur? Here's what Isaiah says. The day of the Lord is coming. The stars will not show their light. The sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. I will punish the world for its evil and the wicked for their sins and make the heavens tremble and the earth shake at the wrath of the Lord Almighty. The wrath of God comes on the day of the Lord. This is quite clear. So, when does the day of the Lord come? Is it during the Great Tribulation or after the Great Tribulation? Let's see what Joel tells us. The sun and the moon and the stars are darkened and the stars will no longer shine. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the great and dreadful day of the Lord. So we saw in Isaiah that Isaiah connects the day of the Lord with the sun and the moon and the stars going dark, as Joel does. But Joel tells us that the day of the Lord comes after the sun and the moon and the stars go dark. Well, Christ seems to settle this for us. In Matthew 24, 29, he says, immediately after the tribulation, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will fall from the sky. After the tribulation, Christ says, the sun and the moon and the stars go dark. Well, wait a minute, the sun and the moon and the stars go dark before the day of the Lord. And the day of the Lord is the time when God's wrath comes. It's also the time when Christ comes, which is what he says in Matthew 24. So let's look at this again. Christian scholars say that God's wrath takes place during the tribulation. This is why there's a preacher rapture. Christ comes for his church to take him out of the tribulation because that's where God's wrath is. Well, wait a minute. God says his wrath is on the day of the Lord. And that's after the tribulation, after the sun and the moon and the stars go dark, just like the Old Testament says, just like Christ says. He says, after the tribulation, then you'll see me. Well, there we have it. Seems to be pretty straightforward. One thing, then the next, then the next. Clearer explanation. Christ returns and the wrath of God is poured out on the day of the Lord. Christ returns, we know that happens on the day of the Lord. We've always known that. The wrath of God is poured out on the day of the Lord. But those things happen after the tribulation. But who can endure the day of his coming? Who can stand when he appears and the wrath of God is poured out? Once again, we can see that the word of God is pretty clear 
you can read the Bible and understand it, but you just have to believe what God says. He says his wrath will come on the day of the Lord. He says the day of the Lord will come after the sun and the moon and the stars go dark. Christ tells us clearly that the sun and the moon and the stars go dark immediately after the tribulation. Christ comes after the tribulation, gathers up his followers, protects them from his wrath, and his wrath is poured out.